Welcome back to another day of online learning. Today is finally our Ancient Roman Review game day. So today we are going to be playing a Kahoot to help you review for your exam. Most of you will be taking the Ancient Rome exam on either Wednesday or Thursday. So be prepared. You already know which day you will be taking the exam and it will be in the same exact format that we took the Ancient Greece and the Ancient China exam where you complete the Google form and then you just submit it that way. So this lesson is meant to help you prepare for that test. Also, you have to make sure that you're completing the Ancient Rome review sheet. That is a homework assignment that will be due by the end of the week. It's a necessary requirement that you get it into me by the end of the week so that I can give you a grade for it. You know that marking period five grades are due for the end of the year, so make sure that you are keeping up with the assignments if you want to get full credit for them. Before you play the Kahoot, though, we are going to be playing a little fill in the blank do now. So unit four, you may not realize this, but unit four was a combination of what we call classical civilizations. So those included China, Greece, and Rome. So if you notice, Unit 4 was for China, Greece, and Rome. They were all part of the same unit, but we broke them down into places and studied them that way. However, because these civilizations existed at the same time in history, they did share a lot of similarities, but they also were different in some ways. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill in each of these sentences with the correct civilization. So, for example, the first sentence says, Alexander the Great united the city-states of blank under one empire. Was Alexander the Great a leader of China? Was he a leader of Greece? Or was he a leader of Rome? So, once you have an answer, just fill in the blank. And when you post the response to the Do Now in Google Classroom, you could say, number one is Greece, number two is uh, Greece, number three is Rome, number four is China, whatever. That's the, probably the most easy way to accomplish this do now. And then once you complete the do now, you can move on to the Kahoot game, which I will discuss in a second. But, 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 before we move on to the Kahoot, I want to mention a few things. One, the Kahoot questions will all be on the slideshow here as shown. So if you want to go back and study the questions and write responses to the questions to help you study, you can use the slideshow as a resource. Number two, your review sheet is meant to help you study for the test, so make sure you do complete it and you do study it because a lot of the topics on there will be directly found on the test. Finally, once you play the Kahoot, you may play it as many times as you'd like. So just because you played it once does not mean you can't go back and play again to help you study you can use that as a resource as well. So going back to the do now for a second, I want to go through this with you together just to make sure that you all got the correct answer. So we know that Alexander the Great was a great Greek emperor. Even though he was not Greek, he was not from Greece. If you remember, he was from Macedonia. He came in from Macedonia, but he did help unite the Greek city-states under one empire. Number two, Julius Caesar was a populist leader who defended, this sh should have said defended, who defended the rights of the blank people. That would be the Roman people. So remember, Julius Caesar was one of the major key players in ancient Rome. He promoted the rights and the needs of the people. That's why they call him a populist. Number three, this classical civilization is known for building the Great Wall and the Terracotta Army. We know that the Great Wall exists in China, and we know that the Qin Dynasty was responsible for both of these accomplishments. Number four, these two classical civilizations existed on one on peninsulas. Peninsula is kind of like an island. However, it's only surrounded by water on three sides, whereas an island is surrounded by water on all sides. So we have Greece and we have Rome. Those two civilizations were existing on peninsulas. Number five, the ancient blank developed the world's first democracy. We know that the birth of democracy came in the city-state of Athens that's located in ancient Greece. Number six, the ancient blank are known for their sturdy roads and their development of concrete. Who developed concrete other than the Romans? 
And finally, number seven, this ancient civilization is known for their law system of the 12 tables. And we know that we wrote an essay about this beautifully in this specific lesson on the Romans. So we have Rome. If you got these all right, very proud of you. Congratulations. You learned a lot. I am so proud you paid attention in all the classes. If you didn't know any of them, uh, well, you know what? I tried my best. <laughs> anyway, moving on, like I said, we're playing Kahoot today. So you know the drill. You go to Google Classroom. I'll have a Kahoot already posted for you under the daily agenda. You hop over to Kahoot, and it the link that it will give you will allow you to play it. Once you uh, once you go to play, it will ask you to hang on. Let's see if I can show you this. It will ask you to enter a nickname. So you'll enter the game by entering your oh, please. One thing, use your own name so I know who's playing. That's another way I'm going to be able to see who's actually doing the classwork so I can count it towards participation and for attendance. So if your username on here is like uh, Backstreet Boy, I I'm not going to know who that is. So make sure that you put your name. You put Melanie, Elena, whoever you are, put your name. So you're going to enter the game. It'll have like a little thing here that says nickname. You just enter the nickname. And, th and then you will play each of the uh, questions. There's 30 questions total. And then once you're done, make sure you send me a screenshot of your score so that, I, so that I see it and I know that you participated in the lesson. If you have any questions about the questions that are in this Kahoot, make sure you shout out to me. Be, be like, Miss V, I don't get this question. So that you are fully prepared for the test. If you don't know the answers to any of these questions that might be an issue, so make sure you reach out to me. I can help you study if you'd like. Like I said, I'm here to help. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I hope you have an amazing, beautiful, sunny day. Have a great day, guys.